Hello, welcome to the first of hopefully many how to slash tutorial style videos on this channel. Uh, in today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to alter a weapon mod to use a new slash different uh, ammo calibers. Uh, in this instance, I will be altering the MCF, uh, 6R M MPX mod to use the 9x19 Parabellum round added by the Caliber Complex mod. Uh, both these mods and any mod or tool I reference in the uh, in this video, I will have linked uh, down below in the description so you all uh, will have easy access to them. Uh, let's get started. First things first, you're going to need a program called uh, FO4A. Some people call it XEdit, some people call it FEdit. Um, basically what this mod lets you do, well it's not a mod, it's a program. Uh, it lets you open up ESPs, ESLs, ESMs, and, and just see you know what's inside, what they change, what they do, what new things they add, whatever. Basically, right um, this tool is good for uh, not only you know changing or doing what we're doing today but it also lets you uh, make patches for mods uh, find incompatibilities with some um, it lets you uh, you know stamp out basically problems with your load order um, and, and it's just all around a great tool and most people who want to take their modding not, not like seriously but like you know they, they want to like understand you should have a, a brief understanding of this program and hopefully in the future i'll have a video tutorial on like, the basics of this and maybe some further advanced stuff uh you know um but yeah uh it, it, like i said it's a very uh good mod get linked in the description i'll check the next thing you're going to need uh, is the caliber complex mod this mod by uh robbie the kid uh great mod it adds just so many new basically <laughs> nearly every ammo caliber known to man <laughs> not all of them but you know a, a lot of them to the game ranging from like 22 long rifle all the way stuff like 330 lapua magnum and even bigger stuff than that you know um lastly you're going to uh, if you want to follow this video tutorial to a t you're going to do the six hour mpx mod obviously uh this is what i'm going to be working off of today um, I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to show you how to either alter the mod itself or make a patch so that it alters it without affecting the original ESP. Um, so yeah, download both of those and when you do, um, well, I'll have them both downloaded and we'll switch to the next cut. <laughs> okay, so at this point, assuming you have both the MPX mod or the weapon mod of your choice installed and Calibre Complex installed and the uh, Fallout 4 edit, uh, next step is basically if you're a, a mod organizer 2 user like myself, uh, you're going to need to add a Fallout 4 edit to your list of executables. So this list here, what you need to do is click edit, uh, click here, click the plus executable, add from file. Uh, wherever you have Fallout 4 installed, however you have it, I have it in this folder right here. Uh, uh, or, well, not there specifically, that's a shortcut. But um, then you want to click you know, the EXE, click open, and that will add Fallout 4 added to the list of executables you have. Next thing you want to do is run the program. The second to launch. Okay. Uh, and you want. Depending, so if you're going to load, if you're going to do this in your like actual load or like mod profile, like, I'm doing this in a separate one that I have just sectioned off for this tutorial. You're going to have your full load order here. Now, what you only really need specifically are the weapon mods you're going to change with Caliber Complex, and that's about it. So, what you want to do is uh, select either. In this case, I'll I don't really need to change anything, but. Um, what you would need to do, say, if you had your full load order listed, is just right click, select none, uh, click all of four, click caliper complex, that requires those two DLCs, and then whatever weapon mod you want to select, select those, and then press OK. Wait for that to load. Hang on your computer, this can take, you know, like a little bit of time. Also, it also depends on how many mods you're loading, of course. So it can take like, a little bit of time or a lot of time. And so, you know, but in this case, it's only like, five or six or whatever so it's gonna see. let's finish all right now ready to edit first thing we can do is create an override patch this will allow us to edit the mod itself without actually editing the original esp of course you can alter the original esp but then like say the mod author updates something well, then you have to undo or you have to redo all those changes you just did you know 
however many months down the line and that's kind of a bitch because you know maybe you forgot something and you're playing the game oh i forgot to do that and now you know gotta do it so it's ideal to do it through an override patch uh so the first things first we need to uh in, the first thing we're going to override is the weapon uh itself so the mpx here so what you're going to do is right click deep copy is override into i say warning you want to add the module yes all right then you're going to select a uh, new file ESP template ESL or ESL. This basically is an ESP ESL where it doesn't take a slot on your load order, but you're still able to, uh, or like the ESP load limit, uh, and you're still able to sort it up and down your load order. You're not, it's not like required to go to the top or, you know, okay. Uh, so do that. Uh, extension name, we're going to name it uh, MPX CC convert. Just that's why I'm going to name it, you know, if it, it was like an actual thing for me, I'd probably name it something more, you know, specific. You should also, if you're doing this, name your ESP something you know. It's like, so in my case, I uh, I probably name it Omega dash caliber conversion or or CC uh, conversion. And that would be it would tell me that, oh, OK, this is the ESP that I use to convert calibers uh for my weapon mods uh, but in this instance i just named it that uh okay so now we have the override uh or override patch made uh what we're going to do is we're going to open up the uh, mpx mod and you can see here it's all the information is exactly the same top to bottom because obviously it's a copy of it but the uh what we need to do is add the caliber complex as a master file to this patch so that we can get access to all the um new calibers added by the mod itself so what you need to do is right click the uh, esp uh and then you'll uh click add masters then you'll be given this list of all the mods uh listed top to bottom of your load order i hit my space bar accidentally um what you want to do is obviously only select caliber complex press ok and now if we check here it so says fall for esm uh mpx uh, esp at etchy i'm sorry <laughs> can't pronounce that or i don't know if i'm pronouncing it wrong and caliber complex esm so now we have access to the ammo types so what we need uh from this is for uh you to go to uh, the caliber complex esm itself click uh plus click the plus next to ammunition in this case we're going to be changing the default ammo from i believe it's 38 or the uh, this might change it to 22 long but uh um we're gonna change it from that to nine by 19 uh, millimeter by uh, parabellum. Nine by 19 millimeter uh, parabellum rounds. So what we wanna do is press F2. This will bring up the form ID. You wanna copy that, just press okay. I can minimize that, uh, this at that point. You wanna go back to the original, or to the new patch. Well, uh, well actually we need to scroll. We can just minimize basically everything here. This, this is all stuff that makes the mod work. Uh, right now we don't need it. Of course, in the future, I would love to go through all this and explain things to people, like how or what things are different. Uh, and so now you'll see a big old list of ammos and stuff added by the mod. But of course, we just copied the form ID, so all we need to do is that. Sorry, my dogs are barking. I had to, you know, chill them out. That's why I cut. But, um... Uh, now we've converted the gun to use the 9x19 ammo. Uh, basically, the gun itself will shoot that. Problem is, if an NPC spawns with the gun, they're going to still spawn with the 38 caliber. So what you need to do is change it, uh, the leveled uh, list item or ammo for the uh, uh, for the gun. So if, instead of spawning with 38 caliber, they will then spawn with 9x19. Uh, that is a very easy thing to do in this case. All you have to do is minimize these three things here. And then open up the LNAM at NPC ammo add list. And we're gonna click the little down arrow here. Up, scroll up a really, really quickly, or not even a real tiny amount, because it's right there. You can click LL underscore ammo uh, dash nine by nineteen parabell. And that that's it. The gun will now spawn with uh, nine by nineteen on raiders and dead bodies and whatever, you know. Last thing you uh, need to do is change, in, it will in this case, uh, for this mod that uh, adds caliber conversion, you need to change the object modification for the mod. 
what you need to do is open up the original MPX mod again. We're gonna go to this tab here, object modification. Open that up. Uh, this going orange, not sure why. Nothing overriding it, but okay. Uh, what you're gonna need to do is uh, click the, or right click caliber, you know, 3D caliber conversion kit. Same thing as we did before, copy is override into the patch we created. Okay, minimize that. I minimize the CSP again. Uh, open it up. See? Now, like before, it's all green. You know, uh, nothing's changed, or, or you know, no, nothing's different yet. What we need to do is change the ammo for the conversion kit so that it no longer adds 38 uh, caliber, or in this case, 22 long. Uh, so what we're gonna do is edit by double clicking it, scroll down, way down, all the way to nine by 19 Parabellum. There you go. Now the uh, the weapon mod will use nine by 19. And this is extra, this is just for, you know, my mental, <laughs> basically. I like to change this stuff. So like the edit, uh, edit ID, change that to nine by 19. Uh, the full name for the thing, uh, for, the uh, mod for like um, when you're in game and you take a mod off of a gun or like a, a whatever, and it's a little box, that little wooden box. That's basically what this is. Change that to 19. And the description of it, same thing. Change it to 9 by 19, so 38 caliber. And that's it. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through. I hope it was informative. I hope I taught you something that you didn't know. Um, hopefully in the future, I'll have more videos, not obviously on this, but uh, on different things. So like uh, I'm playing on this G patch tutorials because the videos out there right now, I feel don't explain enough in depth on how to do it. And a lot of people I think want that. I know I want that information that was it wasn't really made clear. So uh, in the future, expect more tutorial content on the channel, hopefully better and a little less rambly than an edited or less like cut up like this one is because, you know, I did a lot of takes, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm a little nervous, you know, because it's the first time I'm doing this, you know, I've been streaming for four years that, you know, whatever, but recording it, that's, you know, racking my nerves apparently. But uh, yeah, uh, if you like this, like the video, share it, Comment any questions you have below, any suggestions for video tutorials you want in the future. Um, check out my other videos, you know, my turning Fall 4 into Escape from Tarkov, you know, if you haven't already, I assume most of you probably have seen them. Uh, um, yeah, I guess that's it. If you want to support me or anything I do, uh, just you know check the links below follow me on my on my other media on my twitch you know where i stream monday wednesday friday usually around 12 to 4 where i, I i'm actively working on this on my mod list and stuff so you guys and you guys ask questions there about what mods i use whatever you know and if you want to support me you can subscribe to the patreon it's 100 optional you know i nothing's required you know um Everything that's on there will, it does get publicly released eventually. Um, yeah, uh, jo join the Discord, you know? I don't know, I think I said that right, but yeah, we have a really nice Discord where we you know, try to help each other, you know? If people ask for like, well, what kind of mod should I use? You know, whatever, or they need help with mine, go in there, you know? Always, I'm always willing to answer questions if you have any, anything, even if it's not related to this or whatever, um, I'll do my best to answer those, and if I can't, I can hopefully direct you to someone who uh, does know what they're talking about. Uh, but yeah, um, that's a wrap on this, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the uh, the next video.